Stop what you're doing. No matter what, do not remove this drain plug without watching this entire video from beginning to end. Trust me. Okay, folks. So obviously you're looking at the bottom side of an F-150 with an EcoBoost engine. However, I want to point out that the front of the truck is that way. The passenger side of the truck is over here, and the driver's side is on the opposite side of me. The reason I'm pointing that out is because this video is going to give you really, really specific information on how to complete this oil change without making a huge mess. After you've jacked the truck up and you've got it secured on some blocks or uh, some tie ramps, whatever it is that you're going to use to raise the truck slightly in the front, the next step that you're going to do is you're going to take off this little pan here, this like fabric and aluminum pan. I'm not exactly sure what the purpose of it is because it's pretty flimsy, but we've got to get it out of the way and that is super simple. I've got an 8 millimeter socket loaded into my drill. There are only four screws that hold it on. However, it's very important that you start right here. This is the back passenger side. And on this bolt, all I want you to do is just loosen it just a little bit. Don't remove it all the way. That's important. Then go ahead and remove the other four. It doesn't matter what order. Now because we have left the back passenger one in place, we can just rotate this thing out of the way. See how I'm just sliding it across my stomach? And I've rotated it over to the passenger side of the truck. That's important because I've set up this entire job knowing that I'm going to come in and out from the driver's side of the truck. I've got my oil pan on the passenger side of the truck. It wasn't in my way because I came in from the driver's side. And now it's right here on the passenger side of the truck where this, uh, where this drain plug is. Now I don't know about all of you, but for me, that drain plug is pretty foreign looking. It doesn't look like any other drain plug on any other vehicle I've ever messed with before in my life. And for a couple of reasons. One, because it's plastic. Well, another reason is because it's pointing out to the side rather than straight down. And because it's much larger in diameter than any other drain plug. All these things are key because this EcoBoost engine holds six quarts of oil. That's quite a bit of oil, quite a bit of pressure when you release this drain plug. But because it goes out to the side, it's going to shoot that oil way, way out to the side. When I first did my first oil change on this vehicle and I had no idea what to expect, it literally shot oil more than two feet past the outside of the tires and completely douched the floor of my shop in oil. It was a disaster and I was really pissed off and that's what inspired me to do this video. Why is it shooting out the side? I don't know. You'd have to ask somebody from Ford that question. But it shoots out the side and so it's really important that you take this off in a very, very specific way so that you don't make a big mess. Okay folks, remember, it's important that you slide in underneath the truck from the driver's side. My body is currently right below the driver's seat area of the truck and I'm sliding the oil pan in from the passenger side. It's directly underneath that giant goofy plastic sideways pointing oil drain plug. I'm going to reach across the truck with one hand to begin to loosen this drain plug. And the best way I know to describe the way this drain plug comes out is it's, it's like a two-stage twist. And you don't want to get carried away with it because the whole point or the, the, the whole method behind doing this without making a huge mess on these new EcoBoost engines is you really need to be able to hold this drain plug in place while you release the majority of the pressure uh, from that oil uh, being released. So generally I'll just take a rag uh, just to help me get a, gri uh, a good grip on here so that I can release this you know, just right. Okay, I've just turned it through its first stage of release. And now I'm going to try to get it through the second stage. And I did. I've got oil running down my arm, but I have none in the shop floor. And this oil is warm, but you know, the truck's been off for 20 minutes or so, so it's not hot. You want to be able to just let the plug come out just a little bit because you want to control the flow. I'm 
I'm basically metering the oil flow just a little bit at a time, allowing it to go right in the pan. I'm telling you guys, if you let go of this plug, the force of all six quarts of this oil is going to come out in like two seconds. And you will have a massive Exxon Valdez uh, oil spill type scenario in your garage floor or in your driveway or, you know, wherever you happen to be doing it. It's a disaster. I'm opening it up more and more. Or not opening it, it's twisted all the way off. I'm just keeping the plug in there. That's, that's drained down enough to actually just remove the oil plug altogether. Look at that funky thing. I don't know how well you can see that, but it's got a little O-ring in there, which is one of the tricky parts about getting it to release. If that oil or if that uh, O-ring is kind of kind of seized in there, it'll make it hard to pull out. And then when you do pull it out, all of a sudden all your oil comes out, spraying out all over the place. But uh, while I'm waiting on that last little bit of oil to uh, drain down. I wanted to tell you guys just a little bit about my channel. I mean, obviously I do some truck videos. You may have seen my F-150 towing review video. And I've also got a F-150 auto start stop delete video coming. But in addition to those videos, I do some really cool fishing videos. I do a lot of trophy catfish fishing videos out on the Mississippi River where we're chasing down monster 100 pound blue cats. Uh, I also do some ATV and dirt bike videos. So if any of that interests you guys, uh, stick around on the channel click the subscribe button below your screen and uh, yeah I do all kinds of cool stuff and I'd like to uh, see you guys tuning into some of those videos well it's drained down to the point that it's just a slow drip so I'm gonna go ahead and pop this plug back in you kind of have to push it on there and then twist it again it's a two-stage type of uh, plug here I don't know if you heard it click, but it clicks when it's tight. Sort of pops on there. Just wipe it down. Remember earlier when we just spun this plate out of the way? Well, now all we have to do is slide our body in from the driver's side of the truck and spin the pan back in place. Okay, so I've rolled around to the front of the truck and I've, I've rolled my body right in front of the left front tire and basically right in front of this this cross member that's just below the engine I'm gonna reach my hand just in front of this cross member and immediately above that is where you're gonna find the oil filter now if it was tightened uh, properly you can likely remove it just with your hand Otherwise, you may need a somewhat compact uh, filter wrench. Uh, also, the, the oil pan, to catch any uh, oil that's going to drip out of this filter, is placed somewhat below this square. Because depending on what angle you have your truck elevated at, you may get oil out of this square. But there's also a, a plastic drip rail right up in front of this cross member. If the truck were uh, completely horizontal, you would likely get some oil out of that drip rail. Once again, just a little hand strength should be all it takes to uh, break that oil filter loose and start spinning it off. And I'll go grab the new filter. It's generally a good idea to get a little bit of oil on your finger and to lube this, this gasket on this oil filter before you install it. I believe that that helps you twist it onto the proper torque and it also helps, uh, helps it from being locked up when you get ready to remove it. It's pretty easy to get back to get access to this filter for removal and installation. A good hand tight is all you need on your oil filter. Generally speaking, an oil change is really straightforward. 
I don't know if you guys tuned in because it's the first time you've ever done one, or maybe because, like me, you tried to change the oil on one of these latest generation uh, EcoBoosts with that goofy, oversized, sideways drain plug and had a, you know, a disaster. But, you know, it's still really simple. The key for you guys to focus in on is uh, planning ahead, having things laid out where you need them so that you can bring your body in from, uh, from the driver's side of the truck and reach across so that you can properly hold that, that drain plug in place so that you can meter the amount of oil that comes out um, at a given time. That's the key. So if you need to, rewind through this video and look back at exactly how you line that stuff up because we're basically done.